герой, мы страдаемся. Riga's Russian theater stands as a testament to the endurance of Russian culture in Latvia, as well as a bridge between the two, despite political tensions. The theater is 135 years old. This is the oldest theater beyond Russia, and within these 135 years, it has quite harmoniously been incorporated into the context of Latvian culture. Like Ukraine, the Baltics have a large ethnic Russian minority, many of them immigrants from when they were all part of the Soviet Union. But since independence, Latvians openly call the Soviet Union an invader and occupier, along with Nazi Germany. The difference is that Germany has apologized and keeps on apologizing. We often see in our guest book, uh, people have written in German that they're sorry after, after seeing all of this. However, Russia does not consider all of this to have been something bad. Soviet persecution and forced relocations controlled local populations through fear and intimidation. Critics say Russia is returning to Soviet tactics with rhetoric about protecting ethnic Russians and military posturing. Clear recognition uh, of uh, Soviet occupation and apology would be the right way how to gain some trust. After independence, Latvia reasserted its culture with laws requiring a Latvian language test for the right to vote or to get a government job. The living standards here in Latvia and in Estonia are much higher than in Russia. Uh, those Russian speakers are enjoying all of the same freedoms that uh, Latvian or Estonian citizens are enjoying. But Russia and Russian-Latvian critics call it discrimination or even punishment for the Soviet past. It's a problem in, in political life and it's a problem that... Uh, it's a problem from Latin society, actually. Some Russian-Latvian politicians are going to Moscow for support. Uh, because our voters here, uh, they are consumers of this, uh, of this um, content produced in Russia. So when we are speaking in Moscow, our people here in, the, in, in, in Latvia, they say, oh, guys, we, we have seen you. It's, it's, it's great that you are there among those politicians. And so we use these possibilities. While Russian does not have the same status as Latvian, it is common in the city, and ethnic Russians make up about a quarter of the population. The unique feature of our geography and generally the position of the country gives a lot of choice to children. They may consider themselves Europeans to a greater extent. Even the most critical Russian Latvians still see the European Union as their future and only look to Russia for part of their past and culture. Daniel Sheriff, VOA News, Riga.